you're going to be going in the right direction. I don't think there's enough room for her. Until it goes onto the face of the person underneath her in the joy room. Was it? It's an unforgiving fabric. I um, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't spill a thing. And people would see me over craft service and be like this. <laughs> ribs. Lots of ribs. There was one time. Uh, but that's how you eat. There was sushi. Food. They brought sushi in, and uh, you know the uh, soy sauce that can get messy. And uh, so I was. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like that to be how you eat everything. <laughs> no matter what you're wearing. Uh, but I think it's all over here now. This side, representing. Hello. What's Hi. up? Um, my question is, if you had been offered any of the rule on Supernatural, like any at all, even like Sam or Dean, like yeah. which one would you want to be the most? Dean. Dean. Yeah. <laughs> Also for the money. I think that's also a good, it's a good smart move. There, there are a lot of episodes, more than two. <laughs> uh, Dean's pretty cool. What's up? Um, what would be one thing your, your character would, would want to do before they die? Not die. And <laughs> <laughs> do more episodes. Um, <laughs> Be the king of hell. Yeah. <laughs> Unfinished business. Yes. It's tough to die. Truly be the king. I mean, he was doing all right for a while, though. You had a good run? Yeah, we're swimming along quite nicely, thank you. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. You're welcome. Oh, you were together, but not. Okay. <laughs> Do you have a, did you have a question? No? You're, you're good? Okay, good. <laughs> All right. All right. We plowed through it. Good work, yeah. guys. Yeah. Did you have a question for me? I do have a question for oh, you. Oh, boy. <laughs> what you got going on now? <laughs> what do I got going on? Yeah. Um, Tell us what you're up to. So, I've actually been doing a lot of writing uh, lately. Excited about a couple of things. Things in the hopper, things in various stages of development. It's that annoying thing where it's like, oh, you can't say anything yet. Yeah. So then what's the point of even saying it? Yeah, well, I'm excited about it. Yeah. There's a lot of things I can't talk about too that, you know, really big stuff. Yeah, yeah, super big. Like, oh, I mean, like, let's just say it rhymes oh, yeah. with like, yeah. the, the new yeah, starring in right. Mission Flame oh, yeah. Possible. No, I'm not saying it's just like, like, I can't talk about it. Flame. Uh, I, I, I do tell you, it's big, it's big stuff. Yeah, yeah, super big. You, uh, you up to some stuff too? Yeah, yeah. Like, well, can you tell me anything? Here's a little hint. Okay. Flames oh. Fond. Oh. That's just, that's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. Does it, you can't no, crack the code? But, hey, no. what's up? How you doing? I'm Annie. Hi. Hi. Um, if you had a song that exemplified what your life is, what would it be? Our actual lives? Your actual lives. <laughs> Thank you. No problem. 
This question is for Gabe. Did you have any input as to the painting on the side of Andy's van? Oh, I didn't, but it was glorious. <laughs> it was, so it's this barbarian queen. She's riding a, a polar bear. Uh, I just love these. Sounds like a meatloaf cover up. <laughs> Sounds like a Saturday night for you. Uh, so I, I saw, I rolled up to that. I was like, "What is this? This show? It's like every step of the way, this show is incredible." And uh, do I get to keep the? No, I don't. Okay. Uh, and then I loved how they had like a beaded, uh, was it a velvet tiger print in the back, or was it beads? Uh, Sounds like a it great was, band. Oh, it was a great band. It was a very, wow. in the hands of the wrong person, super creepy, but <laughs> with a nice, innocent fellow. What about me? Would I make it creepier? Yes, you Yes, you would. Yes, you would. <laughs> Only by a factor of a million. <laughs> Get in. Oh, yes. Moby <laughs> Dick's mom was also there. It was, it was Dick's mom? mom. No, not Moby Dick's mom. <laughs> a really big hit band. Oh, gotcha. Oh. Oh. Hi. What, are we here? Oh, yeah, hi. What's up? My question is for uh, Jeffrey. I just want to know how the voice of Asmund Days came about. <coughs> and I also want to tell Gabriel that when you took Dean's Impala, it was the greatest scene ever in life so hard. Respect. Uh, Asmund Days' voice now came about. Well, yeah. uh, did you go through other choices before you went in? It came right to me. That was it. Came right to me, and it was. Uh, I, I, he he kind of, you know. I know there's a little bit of a, and not this one, but there's a little bit of a colonel. <laughs> not that. Just, just a general colonel. A colonel. He kind of seemed like a southern, you know, he's a southern guy, and uh, and I've been to New Orleans, and I felt like he'd probably be more Louisiana than anything. So, Did it say in the description? It said, uh, the description was like, think like Frank Underwood. Okay. And he's from Louisiana too, so. Oh, right. There was a, there was a lot of clues that led me to that voice. If you had to do a different accent for him, what would it be? Hey, welcome to the Hope Boys. Hey, guys, do Come on in. Let's <laughs> This is going to be my seat from now on. All you, uh, you know, uh, all the minions from the crowd, you know, you're out, you're out. Everybody else, step forward, boom, you're done. <laughs> See, this is part of the creative process. Some ideas are good, they work, and they some are show. even better. <laughs> uh, and flawless at all times. All right, uh, top uh, of the morning to you. What can I do for you? Oh, the chimney sweep. <laughs> That's a chimney sweep. Yeah, it took me to a Five years ago, and then there's his highest creative self. He 
meets him and you think he's making a deal with the devil, but he's really just meeting his highest creative self, telling him what he has to do to become this. Did you play both parts? No. No. So, there's thrones in Vincent and Lucian, and they're sitting in front of a fire, and it's sort of like, you know, it's, it's a very sort of nefarious scene, and it looks like it takes place in the 1800s, like so. And it's basically about creating your own future. Cut two. I'm walking on set for the first time in, in Crowley's lair. And I'm looking around, going, wow, this is, this is an amazing set. It was the same throne Come on. that I used. There were two of them. This was the same throne with the same. Go back and watch that short. It's the same throne. That's awesome. So it was, in a sense, doing that same thing, like creating something for myself much further in the future than I thought. And it all came full circle. So, That's awesome. Yeah. Where can one see the short? Online. The, the, internet. the internet? The internet. The World Wide Web? Yeah, yeah, the whole world. The World Wide Web. You just type in Vincent and Lucian. Vincent and Lucian. And yeah. I, uh, I had the idea of making a short film um, much less deep. It was just me, uh, present day me, being waited on by the 22 year old version of me because I was the worst waiter you've ever seen and I would have hated myself so much uh, and I was going to do all my terrible waiter bits to myself uh, and, had, and get into a real big argument with myself. So same message, kind of. I think. I think it's working on the same levels. Yeah, like time uh, jumping. Yeah, and a real creative fulfillment. Uh, Hey, go ahead. Nice <laughs> yeah. Um, hi, my question's for your um Jeffrey. Um, as when Gaius came in when no one was really in hell, but how do you think he would have done had he come in and had to fight Crowley or Abaddon for the role of leader of hell? No, I think he would have kicked their ass. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so you just snuck in because there was like an opening? Yeah. <laughs> Less impressed. <laughs> Hi, what's up? Me. So my question is for sort of for both of you, but um, Jeffrey, there's a picture for sale on the creation table yes. where you are the bear skin rug one with him. Holding a snake no, without this. a shirt. There's a this? Oh, is that? There's no. What? Yeah. 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 Well, I think you're talking about prints. Uh, what? By the way, side note. Uh, some of my, I brought three original works of art and then prints of my art that are available in the, uh, yeah. Did I hear the words shirtless? Yes. And snake? Yes. Snake. Not like a little garter snake? No, it's like a little Like a Britney Spears snake? Yeah, but it's... Nice. Yeah, but it's selling for like a thousand dollars. Uh, okay, there's a question. I'm, I'm sure. wondering what that's from. What's that all about? <laughs> so, Fair question. Uh, a friend of mine who's an incredible photographer, who probably all the photos that are available, he's taken. He took uh, the, the, the solo of Asmol Deus. He take, takes an incredible headshot. Anyway, he does a lot of really great um, artistic work as well. He was. He had a shoot where he had all these exotic animals, and we lived close. <laughs> 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 it just sounds like you're leaking. <laughs> and and uh, yeah, he, he said, "Hey man, you wanna take a picture with a big snake?" <laughs> oh yeah, I do. That's a, that's a yeah. rhetorical question. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be right over. Yeah. And my other question about the photo is, is for Abe. What's yes. with your banner? <laughs> you Do they not have to? <laughs> I offered them pictures that weren't from like elementary school. <laughs> I tweeted it at you like, well, how old That was you. Yeah, it, yeah. 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 Like, how old are you? <laughs> Twelve. That is, I would say, twenty-three tops, <laughs> and I'm like twenty-seven now. <laughs> I don't know why you're laughing. Uh, so it's like from 
four years ago, and it seems weird that they would choose that one. Uh, yeah. Same shirt, though. It is. I have it. I, my wardrobe choices have not. Oh my god, same whole setup. Oh yeah. This is... That's why they use it. That's it, yeah. They're like, if, if you're not going to grow as a person, why should you be But uh, I guess I guess that's what. Oh damn! Oh man, time flies when you have fun, lady. Yeah. Yeah. Another question, Richard. Yeah, let's bang these out. Let's bang okay. these out real quick. I, I was wondering if you guys had any secret talents. Like, if you weren't actors, what would you have done? Uh, <laughs> Yeah. Ladies and 